Today we're going to be looking at the very best Jeeps from SEMA 2018, but we're going to be doing a little bit more than that. We're also going to be talking about axles. We're going to go into the Dana axle booth and talk about why it's important to make sure that as soon as you put those big monster tires on your Jeep, you upgrade your axles. And all of today's video is brought to you by our friends from GearWrench. Without their help and their assistance, none of this would be possible. So make sure you go out and support the guys that help bring you this content. That's GearWrench.com. Or let's go check out some of the best Jeeps at SEMA 2018. So if you guys aren't familiar with SEMA, it's the largest truck and specialty equipment show in the United States. But it's not open to the public. And when I found that out, I knew that I wanted to go to this show and look for the coolest vehicles I could possibly find and make a video just for you guys. Ever since I was a child Now it's your it's ugly face What can I do? So Dan and I from Tools in Action contacted GearWrench and they helped get us into the show. But we're not just going to bring you one video on the best Jeep Sesema, we're actually going to bring you multiple videos. The next video is going to be on the best gears, tool and equipment from SEMA. Another video will be on the best custom vehicles at SEMA and then another video will be on the best trucks at SEMA. And all of this is a big thank you out to GearWrench because without those guys none of this would be possible. Pick your favorite Jeep. Just note what time it is in the video and put it in the comments down below. I'm going to share with you which one is my favorite Jeep and which one ended up being my wife's favorite Jeep, but I want to hear which one you guys like the best. Use my legs and run Before it is too late to flee Dan's excited. He's in heaven. Look what I can do to my rocks, sir. What do you think of this rock, sir? I think it's awesome, man. I think it's awesome. Diesel power. It's going to be a great rock power. And Jeeps are just the beginning at SEMA. Around every corner there seems to be something different going on. I stepped outside and here's two cars inside this tiny little confined space. And the object is to see who can do the best burnout without smashing into each other. Hey guys, quick question for you. If you like videos like this, just let me know in the comments down below so that I can make more of them. Now, I'm not going to stop doing what I normally do in my videos, but I want to throw a few things like this into the mix because I'll tell you straight up, I'm a gearhead. I love this kind of stuff. And I need to know from you guys if you like it as well. All right, guys, I'm at the Dana Axle booth with Randall, and he's one of the main guys from Dana and understands axles more than anybody that I've actually <laughs> Matt, and what we're actually going to be talking about is the importance of understanding that you get the right axles, the right gear ratio in your Jeep when you upgrade those tires, because when you put bigger tires on it, I guarantee you, you're going to be snapping and breaking stuff, and Dana's going to explain, or Randall's going to explain exactly what that means, right? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Okay, so like on my Jeep, I'm going to be putting 37s on it, and Correct. what's going to happen with that? Yeah, so what I tell people, my analogy is that um, a bigger tire is equivalent to a cheater pipe. So when you've got that bolt and you can't break it loose, you'll get a piece of pipe and slip it over your wrench and now you're pulling on it out here and miraculously you can turn it, right? 
So you just increase the torque immensely. That's the same thing you do with a bigger tire. You know, you've got a little bitty axle shaft, right? And it's taking all that torque. The engine's giving it torque to turn the tire. You're braking, it's feeding torque back. When you increase that tire, the torque goes through the roof. So sooner or later, that little thing is gonna snap, or when you impact something, the impact's gonna come in and it's gonna break teeth off of a gear, right? So then you're gonna have to go in and do some repairs. So there's a few things you can do to try to mitigate that risk. Um, you can change out your axle shafts. You can actually change the material. So we have chromoly axle shafts. This is a little more robust material. And hopefully that that will absorb some of the twist, absorb some of the impact so that you don't break a gear. But a 37 inch tire, and if you start with a base sport Sahara, you're gonna have a Dana 30 in the front, and the base axle. It's just a matter of time. It's not an if, when. Um, you're gonna stress these things to the point that they break. So the next thing you could do is upgrade the axle assembly itself. And a real, a real popular upgrade would be a Dana 44. Um, we provide an ultimate Dana 44 upgrade. And this 44 is a little, it's beefier than say a Rubicon 44. It comes with the locker in it, so it's selectable. Um, it's got a chromoly axle shafts already installed, so you've already got the more robust axle shafts. It's got thicker tubes, thicker brackets. It's got a nodular iron diff cover, so when you're hitting rocks and trees and things, you're not gonna punch through the stamp steel cover. Keep your fluids intact. Um, and it's a great upgrade, right? And then for the 37 inch tires, it can handle the weight, it can handle the torque. So what if, they, what if they have like 33 inch tire? Do they still need to upgrade? Or I mean, where, about where do you gotta upgrade on you your know, tire? I'll, a lot of it comes down to your, your right foot, obviously. Um, when you get to a 37 inch tire, you really need to have a 44. Um, the model numbers, 30, 44, 60, um, that, that's a, um, you can relate that to the capacity of the axle. So a 40 has more capacity than a 30. So, you know, a 40 is gonna help you out um, up to a 37, right? I mean, when you get to the 35, 33, 35, 37, definitely 37, you need a 44. Um, 35, it depends on how you drive. <laughs> um, and if you go bigger, or maybe you do an engine swap, and you've got even more, you know, 500 horsepower, like Corvette engine in your Jeep, um, you have to go with a Dana 60. I mean, you, you just need that capacity to handle the torque, the weight, the power, your right foot, you know, make it safe. So that's why you, when you go on these Jeep forums and you see guys talking about the upgrades to the axles, this is why. Just having bigger tires, even if you're a soccer dad and you're just doing the driving in the street, it doesn't make a difference. Those big tires are going to eventually wear and snap that front axle, isn't that right? That's right, yeah. I mean, you're, even on the pavement, I mean, right? You're gonna get a lot of traction on pavement yep. and traction creates a lot of torque, right? Yep. So uh, it's uh. So now you know why you gotta upgrade it and thanks to Dana and thanks to Randall for from Dana. Anytime. For doing this from us. So let's get back into the show. Let's get back into looking at some of the cool vehicles that we've seen at SEMA. Now. So this is kind of a funny but true story. On this next Jeep, I started to film it and three girls jumped out and started to model in front of it and I had to actually ask them to move. You would have thought I just pooped in their Cheerios because they looked at me like they were completely shocked. And I said, it's no offense, I'm here to film the Jeeps of SEMA and not really the Jeep girls of SEMA. And on a side note, I'm happy to report that I didn't get kicked out of anything anywhere unlike what happened to me at the GIE at the Skag booth. 
But of course, nobody was actually letting me drive any of these Jeeps because then it might have been a little bit of a different story. So I went out and bought a Jeep just so I could make videos for you guys on how to put in lifts and bigger tires and body armor and all sorts of fun stuff. You guys should be seeing those videos coming out in the next few months. So get ready because we're going to have a lot of fun making them. Well, I have a wonderful electronic invention I want you to see. see, see. It, it looks something like this. today's video and remember we got a lot more coming at you we got the best trucks of SEMA the best tools of SEMA the best custom vehicles of SEMA we also have a video on how not to install the lift plus also how to size the right tires and wheels and rims for off-road use and the best body modifications that actually work for off-roading why are we doing all this stuff well because honestly I just love this kind of stuff and I need to know from you guys if you like it as well we are also going to be doing more in the landscaping and construction industry like how to properly load and secure your trailers and also the lots of difference. I can't even start to list all the stuff we've got coming at you. So you guys let me know what you think of this video and get ready because we got a lot more coming. By the way, God bless and go get them.